We are at the brand new Best One Tire and Service store here in Newburgh, and they are kicking this store off in style with Scott Dixon, the IRL's top driver, and what a start to his career. He began in 2003, won the points championship his very first year. He has 15 wins, maybe more impressive, 45 top fives. And Scott Dixon now joins me, and I guess we have to start in the month of May. What was it like to go up to the Indianapolis 500 and win the greatest race in the world? Yeah, it was, uh, it was definitely fantastic, you know, I think for... For me, you know, I've done that race for you know five or six years now, and and uh, you know, coming runner-up last year, you know, it's it's such a a strange race in the fact that you spend a month pre you know preparing for it, and then uh, if you don't come away with a win, man, you're so disappointed. So, you know, this year definitely made uh, all those years well worth it, and uh, it's crazy. It's uh, it's so many things that go on in that race, and and the emotions after it is uh, like nothing else, man. But it, it lifts uh, a lot of weight off your shoulders, I think, once you can say that, you know, you're an Indy 500 champion. How important was it to get those last 24 laps green? How did that help you because your car was running so well? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, it, it definitely made it, uh, you know, the, the biggest problem, I think, at the Speedway is getting your restarts right. Um, you know, the first lap or two, you, you're kind of uh, a bit of a sitting duck for the guys sitting in second and third because you're still getting up to speed any time you can have a little bit less drag and, and when they're on the slipstream there it makes it e you know, easy to pass so you know, I think for me that was uh, the, the, the point of the whole race was nailing that restart getting a little bit of a break and then you know, after the next sort of 22 laps we could sort of break away a little bit so I was happy to see no yellows um, <laughs> but you know, I'm sure the other guys behind us weren't <laughs> Milk tastes good? Yeah, you know, I guess a lot of people say, you know, is that the first thing you want to have after you've had a long race? But, uh, you know, that milk tastes pretty good, man. I can't complain. It's definitely the best milk I've had. But, uh, you know, a beer might have been a little nicer. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, we have a lot of fans here at Best One. What's it like just to meet fans that maybe you normally wouldn't get to meet uh, and kind of uh, promote? IndyCar racing. Yeah, it's fantastic. You know, I think uh, obviously here for, for Best One's store opening and, and uh, Firestone, who are a uh, you know a strong product that we support. You know, in the in the IndyCar series, um, you got to you know try and help them out whenever you can. So it's it's fantastic to see the support we have here today from you know, the the people, uh, the local people here, and, and uh, you know it's it's kind of different for us. We don't do it too often. You know, most of our appearances are are around uh, you know the the race circuit or, or circumstances like that or a big you know much bigger event. So it's uh, it's a nice change of uh, pace and it's very cool man it's good to see the people coming out I'm sure you never feel comfortable with the lead you're up 65 points four races left uh, you've had five wins this season but what do you think of these last four races and trying to win your second points title yes it's tough you know uh, uh, especially when you got Elio chasing you down you know he's been extremely uh, extremely consistent in the last part of the season I think he's had six or seven second place finishes so you know he's still definitely uh, chasing us down pretty hard and uh, you know these circuits I think to come with two road courses and two ovals uh, you know we fare probably pretty equal so you know he can definitely catch us pretty quick if we have a, a race maybe with a mechanical failure it's going to put him right back in there so hopefully he you know trips up a little bit <laughs> here in the, in the next few weeks and, and uh, we can get a little bigger lead and uh, sort of relax a, bit, you know, a little bit for the last two races. Now, as I understand it, from New Zealand, you've been racing since I believe you're 10 years old. Father was dirt track racing. Just kind of talk about how it was in your blood right out of the crib. Yeah, you know, I think uh, definitely my father loved racing. He never did anything on a professional level, but it was all, you know, sort of club stuff. He did rallying, he did circuit racing, he did, uh, as you said, a bit of dirt track racing as far as sprint cars and, and things like that. So he loves it. You know, uh, my mum did a little bit of it as well, and she really enjoys it. And it's definitely uh, those two are a big support and, and a big, you know, help from, from my early childhood to, to become, you know, uh, or doing what I'm doing now. So, you know, it's, it's good to have that, and uh, you definitely need it in this sport. You know, you need a lot of help, I think, to get through the junior categories. And, and uh, you know, without them, I'd never be here. And finally, I guess everybody, when they're driving even their own car, is just kind of thinks about maybe what's it like to go 75, 100 miles an hour. What is it like to go 220 miles an hour there, especially at Indy? It's, it's funny, though. Like, you, get, you do get that question a lot. But it's, <laughs> uh, you know, when, when the cars around you are actually going 5 mile an hour, maybe 10 mile an hour speed difference, it actually mm. doesn't feel that bad. You know, you don't feel like you're going that quick. The only, the only sensation you get when you're going that quick is maybe when you spin because the wall's not going at any speed. So, you know, that's the only uh, concept you get of it. And uh, it's strange uh, just for that fact. But, uh, you know, we've been doing it for so long too, man. It's just like an everyday job for us. Is it weird to drive your personal car after a race? It's so different. But, you know, <laughs> I still get my fair share of tickets, man. Don't worry about that. <laughs> right. Well, thanks a lot, Scott Dixon, sure. the uh, 2008 Indianapolis 500 champion. He will be at the Kentucky Speedway, not a very far drive from here. If you want to head up there, and cheer Scott on as he's got four races left in the championship chase. Reporting from the brand new Best One Tire Service Store here in Newburgh, Lance Wilkerson, News 25 Sports.